Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Kyle from the TF Review, and today we've got another episode of Deconstructed. Today we're going to be taking apart and opening up the American Gose Morpher. This is one of my favorite American Morphers. It has over 180 sounds, uh, and it's just... And it is, in my opinion, one of the best morphers uh, we've ever had. It's kind of mysterious in that it's just a big head. The way it works is that you open the mouth up. You see we have the ranger cards, which are just standard trading cards, with barcodes on it. You insert the trading card into the morpher. Close it up. And it plays the sound. It's very simple, uh, but it's very, very well executed. Now, remember the point of these videos is not to destroy these toys, but to see how they work. So, in order to do that, we don't want to get electrocuted, so we're going to start by removing the batteries. Now it's worth noting, since there is no on and off switch, it actually just cycles through on, try me, and the trading card game mode. Uh, it actually uses AAA batteries, which is not common for an American Morpher, but for a Japanese Morpher, that is actually the norm. So, now it's off, we don't have to worry about electrocuting ourselves, and we're going to go ahead and we are just going to remove all these screws, and see exactly what is inside this mysterious head. All right, so we now have all eight screws removed. We're gonna open his head. I'm kind of excited about this, to be honest. His head is up. And there is the inside of the Gosei Morpher. And we can see how this works. So when you open it up, this little peg right here actually travels down this track and hits that button and that activates a button right here. When you close it, and there's got to be another mechanism on the bottom that activates the actual sound. So, we're going to go a little bit further and see how this works. But this is so cool so far. Sure. So here we have the Gosei Morpher taken apart in um, quite a few different components. It's certainly a lot simpler than both the than the Legendary Morpher and the Dino Charge Morpher, but it still has its own complexities. This right here, obviously, is the main faceplate. Looking underneath, it's just a big piece of black plastic that's, for the most part, painted on all sides. And of course, you have these two pieces. This is, of course, the tray that the card sits on. If you wanted to paint it red, you could very easily do so to be more accurate to the show. And this is the back plate. You've probably seen it before. The face just sits right on like that. And the mouth slides on. In fact, you don't really even need the electronics. You could just have it empty like that and not even notice any of the other stuff and use it as a prop. Uh, that right there does it for the exterior stuff. Now it's time to look at more interior stuff. This is the battery cover, not to mention. AAA batteries. Oh no, I'm out of focus. AAA batteries. Uh, you have little doodads, little pieces. I'm not even sure what any of these are. So here we have the main electronics. All the wires are kind of soldered onto one another, so I didn't really want to take them apart. Uh, essentially what happens is you get the card and you slide it down and Let's see, it slides down, how does it slide? I don't know how it slides. I believe it slides like this, and as the card passes with these barcodes, it'll pass this, kind of like a grocery store, store scanner. Uh, and this component right here 
with these two little micro scanners actually just sit in the window and peek through and that's how it recognizes the sound. Of course you have the memory card right here on the back and the standard Bondi of America sort of activation sound thing. When you pull the mouth open and you go it actually hits this button right here and that's what causes it to work. Uh, you also got the battery you know, self-explanatory, and the speaker, also very self-explanatory. And that is essentially what the Gose Morpher is made up of. It's super simple. I'm very surprised how simple it was. Uh, but it is a really fun Morpher. In fact, let's kind of play around with it a little bit. Let's put the batteries in there. Let's see. And not to mention the LED is also mounted on this uh, computer chip. So whenever you do open it, you just push that button. And that's that. I wonder if, I, I'm just, I doubt this is gonna work, but I wonder. Yeah, not a chance. <laughs> Um, so that's how the Go Say Morpher works. Now it's time for the fun part, putting this baby back together. So, here we go. Alright, so we've got it all put back together. Now is the moment of truth. I did get sounds just now, so we're gonna see if it works. Gonna take the card, pray to God it shows up. Well, it doesn't work. But I can live with that. <laughs> since I don't really use it anymore. Uh, it seems like what I did wrong was I might have put the reader on just... It, it might be just a smidge off. So I'll definitely need to go back there and uh, adjust some things. But, for the most part, that is exactly how a Gose Morpher works. That is what it's made up as. And, um still one of my favorite morphers so thank you so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as i enjoyed making it i think i'm gonna make deconstructed a friday thing from now on let me know what you think about that uh and if you do like that i think i might start moving on to doing sentai morphers maybe some role play toys and you know anything anything really so maybe some rider belts uh so we'll we'll see how it goes uh, anyway, so thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video review. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at the TF Review, and I will see you all on the next. And I will see you all in the next video.